What's up, everybody? Mike McIntyre here from All Things Sports, bringing you a brand new video today to talk about the Nike Magista Opus 2s. Now, this is part of the latest motion blur pack, so there's a lot of new stuff to talk about with this one, but let's get right into the box really quickly. So, like any other top of the line Nike product, you get a string bag. This one is Volt on the back, white on the front. You got Volt strings, and of course you get your little pocket right there, so you can put in a phone, a wallet, or anything like that. And then in the box, you just get the shoes themselves. So right here we have the Nike Magista Opus 2s. Now, it's part of the latest motion blur pack, which includes the Hypervenom, the Magista, the Tiempo, and of course the Mercurial lines. Let's talk colorway first off, because there's a few new things with this iteration of the Magista Opus 2s that we're gonna talk about once we get into the upper. First off, you've got a very clean colorway, obviously with this white finish in the front. And then of course you have Volt. Obviously this is a color that's Nike has sort of made famous as of late. Uh, it's like this highlighter yellow, um, electric yellow if you want to call it that. So it's just, you have that over here in the heel. It fades around to the other side. You've got this nice sort of gradient pattern here. So it sort of fades from the white into that yellow at the back. The liner and sock liner is yellow and of course the tongue and laces are yellow as well or that volt color. The bottom is kind of this funny looking beige color almost. You've got yellowed tipped studs and these three over here are black with a black Nike swoosh. But the bottom actually looks really funny. I mean it's not that big of a deal because you'll never actually see it. But it's like a creamy beige vanilla color. It's really not white at all so that I find that just kind of funny. You got a Nike swoosh here. Nike swoosh on this side, obviously right there, and of course ACC branding right here on the tip of the tongue. We're gonna talk a little bit about the upper because the Opus 2 here has changed, well, dramatically in my opinion, from the last Nike pack. Now, Nike has done this in the past. They release a new pack and it seems like one model with a lack of headlines, if you will, comes up with this new upper. We've seen it with the Hypervenom, and now we're seeing it with the Magista Opus 2s. Now, this is basically a Kangalite material with is this new sort of ribbed pattern here. It's not like these bumps that you got on the previous Magista Opus 2s. And this one just has this sort of texturized area right here, more similar to the Obra, and again on the instep right here, just to give you a bit more texture and a bit more feel on the ball. They're not as big as on the Obra, but they're, they're present, they're there, and it's just to give you this sort of texture on the ball, I suppose. And in comparison, I'll put these down, this is the last colorway. You can see right here, these are these very present bumps, and I really don't know what to call them. They're like these hard foam bumps that they've fused onto the upper. So we've gotten rid of those, and we have just this sort of textured area right here. So very, very interesting from Nike. Again, you can see the two comparisons right there. Very interesting, completely new upper. This one, again, is Tangalite, but it's a bit more on the synthetic side, whereas this one is basically a remake of the CTR360. So whoever is a fan of the Nike CTR360 from a few years ago, basically you've got the CTR360 4 right here. This is basically it. You've basically got a brand new upper here. So the Magista Opus has changed quite a bit from the last pack um, into this one. The rest of the shoe is the same. The tongue is the same. The liner is the same. The sock liner here is the same. You get one single piece of foam right here with these pour-on inserts in the forefoot and in the heel. Um, very, very simple, typical insole that you would see nowadays. The sole plate, I've talked about this before, it is this revolutionary sole plate that sort of curves with the shape of your foot. Um, so it cups your heel, you've got this area over here for the ball of your foot, you've got this spine that runs through here just to give you a bit more stability for the midfoot. And it's a true and tested sole plate, I suppose, from Nike. You've got these sort of conical studs for the most part with one sort of flat edge and I believe that's just to give you a bit more push off when you're making these quick cuts or changing direction really, really quickly. A flat edge just sort of digs into the ground a little bit better and gives you a base to push off of where the rest, these sort of conical areas over here, are just gonna allow the shoe to pivot much more naturally, I suppose, in the ground. So that's basically it for the sole plate. Stay tuned, guys, I'm gonna slip them on and you can see what they look like on feet. All right, guys, so there's a look at the Nike Magista Opus 2s on feet. These are a very snug fitting shoe. They're not the widest in Nike's line. They're not the narrowest either. But if you have wide feet, for somebody like me at least, I think these are gonna take some getting used to. They're not bad from the, right out of the box, but you definitely need a session or two for them to stretch out and really mold to the shape of your foot. As far as sizing goes, I would probably recommend going up half a size with the Opus. Nike's sizing is very, very funny. Their Obra is true to size, but their Opus is 
a little bit small in my opinion, so I would probably go a half size up in the Opus 2s just to get a more natural fit, especially for my wide feet. But other than that, I think it's a really good shoe. The sole play feels good on the feet. It feels natural, it feels solid, it feels like just a really good or well put together shoe. No nonsense, none of this high dynamic fit collar, just fits your feet very, very well. So I would suggest going up half a size, if you will. And I think this new upper is gonna make a lot of people happy. I really think this is the next generation CTR360. And that shoe was massively popular. And they've basically come up with this kind of light upper again. So it's kind of funny that it's gone unannounced from Nike, but it's probably what most people wanted. No nonsense with those bubbles on the on the upper, you just get this texturized candlelight upper that will stretch a little bit, mold to the shape of your foot, and I really think you're gonna get a good experience out of this Opus. That's pretty much it, guys, for fit and feel. You gotta look at them on feet. This was Mike McIntyre with All Things Sports. Thank you guys very much for watching. Talk to you guys soon. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Thank you guys very, very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, smash that like button, leave a comment, and consider subscribing for more videos. See you guys next time on All Things Sports by Mike McIntyre.